This is the MGC500 Robot Lawn Mower, a compact and pretty cool looking device sitting right here in front of me. For anyone unfamiliar, this is a battery powered robotic mower made by Redkey. It's ash gray, looks kind of sleek, actually pretty sturdy considering its compact build, and weighs about 42 pounds. I know that sounds heavy for something this small, but honestly, considering what it does, I don't mind it. The dimensions are about 16.5 inches wide and 4.9 inches tall, so it's not huge or anything, and definitely won't take up much room in your garage or shed. So here's my quick review and personal experience after unboxing and testing it. When I got my hands on this mower, I was a little skeptical. I've tried some robotic tools before, and they're often hyped up but can end up being complicated or just not quite fitting into the kind of yard work I do. My place isn't massive, but there are plenty of tight corners and spots that give most regular mowers a hard time. I was pretty interested to see how this little guy would handle all of that. Unboxing it was actually pretty fun. Right out of the box, you get the main robot mower unit, a docking station, a power supply, low voltage cables, a long spool of boundary wire, some very basic cardboard ruler that's supposed to help with setup, and bags of pegs and screws. Those pegs are used to pin down the boundary wire, which essentially sets the fence for where your mower should and shouldn't go. I also found a packet of wiring and a little transformer, and a 100 pack of those pegs, which I thought was a bit overwhelming at first, but trust me, you will use them all. From my experience, setup is where you definitely want to be patient if you've never installed a robotic mower before. The MGC500 works by following a physical wire you lay around your yard called a boundary wire. This tells the mower where to cut and where to avoid, so it won't go charging into your flower beds or out onto the sidewalk. I was worried that laying the wire would be a nightmare, but the instructions are straightforward and there's a quick start guide. Still, it's a bit hands-on, you need to make sure the wire's down securely, especially if you have dogs or curious kids in the neighborhood. What surprised me most was how the MGC500 handles various kinds of yards. I have some pretty tough, uneven ground, and where my old mower would get stuck or leave patches, this thing actually covers almost everything. The manufacturer calls the core feature, CTOF, navigation. That just means it's got a higher level sensor that helps it map out your yard more precisely, planning grid-like paths instead of just bumping around at random. It claims 99.7% coverage, and while I didn't measure my grass with a ruler, it really does seem to hit almost every spot, even those weird areas right up at the corner of my patio. Another key feature is its smart app control. The MGC500 connects to the Rome Smart Life app. Now, I'm not a big tech person, and usually I dread downloading a new app just for one tool, but this one is genuinely useful. Through the app, you can see real-time maps of where it's already mowed, set its schedule, check battery life, and even adjust cutting height, all without bending down or fiddling with the mower itself. I especially like the alerts, because, if something goes wrong, the app literally tells you what's up. Battery life is solid. I found it gets around 70 minutes of actual mowing before rolling itself back to the charging station when it's low. Not only does it recharge automatically, so there's no need to drag it back yourself, but when it hits about 90% charge, it goes right back to work, picking up where it left off. If it starts to rain, it pauses and heads back to its base, which is a nice touch since I really don't want to run out and grab the mower in a downpour. About that cutting height, I didn't have to manually adjust the blades like you do on some cheap mowers. The MGC500 will auto-adjust cutting height based on your settings, or you can use the app to do it remotely. The blade system spins quietly too. At under 57 decibels, it's quieter than my old box fan. You could literally have it running while taking a phone call inside, or if you work from home, there's no annoying buzz in the background. One thing I ran into during my quick review, at first, I was worried about safety, especially when I stood in its path to see what it would do. Thankfully, it just detected I was in the way, backed up, and rerouted. There's no risk it'll just ram into you or your dog, which, let's be honest, is good peace of mind. If you have slopes in your yard, this is perfect for you. The MGC500 is rated for up to 45 degree inclines and has anti-skid tires, so it holds on and doesn't get stuck or slip. My yard isn't crazy steep, but there are enough uneven bits to make this feature really valuable. There's also a pretty clever safety check built into the system. If an animal chews through the boundary wire, or if there's a break, the app will let you know and even show you about where the problem is. That takes a lot of stress away, 
because boundary wire damage used to mean hunting around the yard for hours. With the location and some included connectors, repairs are quick. For the everyday stuff, there's not much fuss. The unit is IPX6 waterproof, so you can hose it off if grass starts to build up. Maintenance is about what you'd expect. Every so often you'll need to give it a quick wipe, maybe check for any trapped grass around the blade, and eventually you'll have to swap in new blades. If you keep it relatively clean, it should last a long time. I did notice some grease buildup after the second week, but nothing a quick rinse and wipe couldn't handle. I'd recommend this for anyone who wants to spend a bit less time pushing a mower around, especially if you don't like wrestling with extension cords or gas engines. Maybe your yard isn't huge, about an eighth of an acre or so, which is what this model is built for, but you still want it looking sharp all summer. If you're worried about setup, just follow the manual closely, take your time laying the wire, and use the quick guides. Once it's set, the app does a lot of the heavy lifting for you. In my opinion, the MGC500 is a great entry point into robotic lawn care. Sure, you have to put in some work at the start, and you can't totally forget about maintenance, but the payoff is real. Quiet operation, smart navigation, climbs hills, and easy-to-use app controls, it has just about everything I wanted for my own lawn. In conclusion, I'm really happy with how it turned out. My yard looks way more put together, and I actually have time to enjoy my weekends instead of sweating behind a mower. The build quality feels solid, it survived the shipping, and worked right out of the box. I can't wait to try it on the bigger part of my yard. I'll leave the details about the MGC500 robot lawnmower in the comments for you to check out. See you in the next video.